It is said that, if someone dies prematurely, then he does not get salvation. And then, it begins, the story of the wandering of the restless soul. And if any such soul has occupied your house, whose wishes have remained unfulfilled, then there is no way to avoid it. Should we stay at such a place, or should we refrain from straying from its surroundings? There is a similar story in New York. Sorry, New York City. But what difference does it make? New York or New York City? People were dying then and are still dying today. Don't know how many restless souls are wandering for their salvation. Apartment number 704 of a society situated near West 10th Street in New York and was so cursed that all the other apartments on that floor vacated on their own. The lift going up was also blocked for that floor. Even the door leading to the seventh floor from the stairs was also closed. And after the evening, people shy away from even looking at that side. It is said that sightings of a lady in white has been seen outside that room whose face is hurt and she screams and calls people to help her as if someone is oppressing her but no one is coming to save her. Now where people shy away from going even during the day, why would anyone go there at night? Many years have passed and everything remained as it was. That apartment 704, its entire floor remained deserted amidst the glittering society. But then, one such night came, which changed everything. The rain falling from the dark clouds surrounded the sky, had drenched the entire society. People were inside the house early today, even the children, who were jumping in the rain, were nowhere to be seen. Their paper boats was like a lost ship, lying upside down in the water. Just then, an expensive black car came to a stop in the society, whose driver got out of the car while running and tossing the umbrella, opened the back door in a flash. A hand came out from inside the car, who blew the ashes of his cigar, and then took out the foot with the shiny shoes. He himself also came out completely. The driver was getting wet, and he was puffing cigars under the cover of the umbrella. His eyes repeatedly went to the seventh floor, then on the wristwatch, and finally at the gate of the apartment, where shortly after a sling, the cop's car came inside and stopped. The police officer and a sergeant came out of it wearing raincoats and pulled out a middle-aged man from the car, after which he staggered straight and he knelt down before the man in the shiny shoes who was smoking a cigar. He lifted his face with his foot and took a puff of cigar and pointed towards the seventh floor. With this style of his, the person who fell on the ground stood up and started showing his angry eyes while wiping the water from his face. Just then, the sergeant hit him on the back with the butt of his rifle and he staggered forward. He looked at all of them with a glance and then moved towards the lift of the building. Entering the lift, he pressed the number 7, but there was no movement in the lift, so he pressed the button 6. Just then, there was a loud lightning outside, and the elevator door slammed shut. With screeching lights and screeching noises, the lift stopped on the 6th floor. From there, the man got out of the elevator and went up the stairs to the 7th floor door which had been locked for years. 
The man opens the door, without hesitation, and enters the seventh floor, and fearlessly walks towards apartment number 704, as if nothing was new to him here. And indeed, nothing was new to him, because on the seventh floor, the apartment he was heading towards, actually he used to live there, with the same lady, who is now visible to everyone, in the form of a son, who screams, give people sleepless nights. As he approached the apartment, a loud scream resounded, so loud, that the cigar dropped from the man's hand, and after that, the scene that came in front of him, it blew his senses. The door of apartment number 704 opened automatically, and that person got pulled into it, and then came out, swinging in the air, in one stroke, as if someone had caught him by the throat, but no one was visible. The man was thrashing his hands and feet, as if he was trying to escape from someone, but could not escape. The next moment, a loud sound echoed, and he flew down from the seventh floor, and fell in the middle of the ground of the apartment, so fast that his body did not even get a chance to suffer, and he died. The blood flowing from his head took the shape of letters, and even in the midst of heavy rain, it was written on the ground. Revenge completed. The very next moment, it flowed with rainwater. Then suddenly, the man came out from under the umbrella and started laughing loudly. Seeing the seventh floor, he folded his hands and sat in the car. Then he left from there. The police called the ambulance and started looking around to see if anyone had seen anything. Then on one of the floors of the building, right in front of the seventh floor, they saw a child of about seven to eight years old, seeing whom the inspector got scared. But the next moment, he smiled like he is just a child. The child turned back and asked his grandmother in a gesture. Then the grandmother also started telling him everything in a gesture because both could not speak. The boy was understanding all her gestures and also the story of years ago when that middle-aged man came to live here with a lady younger than him. The lady was an orphan, so the man supported her and both of them started living together. Even after living in a big society, he did not have any conversation with anyone. But where can the troubles of the house be hidden? Neighbors often had their ears on the quarrels between them. In fact, the man was so angry with the lady that she used to call him her uncle or maternal uncle to every passerby, so that no one makes fun of their age difference. The quarrels increased even more when the lady started earning better than him. Now that man used to doubt her on everything, used to beat and used to abuse. But when all these things did not make any difference, so he brought the talisman, got it read by the pietist and forced the girl to wear it so that she could be in his control. But when she flatly refused to wear the talisman, then in anger, that person took her life and not only took her life, but also started cutting her into pieces. But the neighbors, who did not hear her screams, also started smelling the dead body of that girl, and that person was caught. He went to jail, but apartment 704 was cursed by the wrath of that spirit, and within no time, the market value of this society started falling, not only of this society, but also of the neighboring societies. And the owner of all these societies was the same David, for whom there is no importance of human life. But how can he fight with a soul 
So after years of loss, he took the support of his mentor, and the same mentor told him that the spirit wanted to avenge her death by killing the man who had killed her. What was it then, on the basis of his money and power? David got him out of prison and put a condition that, after leaving the jail, he would have to go to his apartment only once, so that the fear that there is a ghost here would end. That man did the same, but in the fire of revenge of his wife's spirit, he himself got burnt and was killed. Grandmother and grandson both were looking down from the balcony where there were now more people than before, apart from the policeman, an ambulance and a guard too. The inspector was looking at them. That's when the child asked his grandmother in a gesture, will the person who has died become a spirit and take revenge for his death? Grandmother replied in a smiling gesture, son, only death comes from death, not life. Saying this, both of them started looking down. Then the inspector asked the guard about that old woman and child. Who is she after all? Who the old lady and the child? There is no one there. Yes, they used to live once, about three years ago, but due to the fire, both the old woman and her grandson became dear to God. Since then, the flat is closed, sir. Inspector's eyes burst after listening to the God's word, because he was still seeing them smiling. A restless wandering soul. And who knows, there may be someone next to you too, who is not visible to you. Am I right?